Right, there's a bum on the corner. He got some money. I recorded it on Sony. Looking down around this parking lot, I don't see any um, any regulation against overnight parking. You see the trucks. You see an RV. It's pretty clean. <laughs> there's some places that uh, when they don't have any regulation, people just camp out and trash their areas. But it's clean here. They don't regulate it. It looks nice. What are the chances that I caught some kind of illness or infection from sitting in the back of that police cruiser? Because uh, I, I feel a little off. Right, coming down the candle aisle and furniture aisle, I see this. Looks like some teen wanted to steal uh, nose strips. You know, my gut is causing some problems. It's a burning in my lower gut. And I was able to poo, but it's just not enough. It feels like it's affecting my mental health. Almost like I'm hearing voices, practically. So I got these shrimp. They're frozen solid. I think I'm going to take the co all the covering off and just let them sit on the dashboard in the sun. I don't think I like it the to have them covered sitting in the sun. I think I'd rather have them uncovered. Have I done permanent damage? I loosened up the chain and there was some, it sounded a little bit better for a little while. All right, the street was formed in 1936. I scratched a year on it. I was actually planning on hanging out at that library too and reading a book I brought with me. U.S. something court. Unlimited law firm. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought that might be the bathrooms for this park. It's a law firm. All right, there's no bathrooms. Great. There's this history sign. A fragment. They're talking about this. I got to read that sign. All right. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I've never seen signs so low on a bench. So this is Old Socorro Plaza. Can that be red? I can't tell. This is like the main downtown park, Plaza Street Heritage Park, Opera House. Oh, I used to stand there, I guess. All right, right over there, maybe. El Fago. See what's on your Wikipedia. Val Verde. Can I get all that? Jeez. All right. <laughs> Is this some kind of an Aztec symbol? 598. Oh, 1598. All right. Whoa. Yeah, I guess I'd be just uh, sitting in the library right now if I didn't get kicked out. Instead of walking down around and looking at all these these pictures, these stone cut. This is like a funeral. Uh, the stone is used for funeral. Instead, they've uh, used using old pictures. Right, just down the street. I think this is the church. 
that uh, scared the Apache Indians away with the angel and the sword. It's supposed to be on the front. But maybe they took it down. I mean, we're talking from the late 1800s, so maybe it was taken down. Views have changed on how to uh, communicate religion. Angels with swords may not be. Yeah, I don't see it. Oh, unless if it's this, it was supposed to be. It's supposed to be up above. Is that a crusader? Looks like a crusader. Oh, here it is. This is what scared the Apaches away. An angel with a sword. Wow. No, it's down below. I think it was. And then this must be Satan. This is a really good, really good um, statue. At the San Miguel Church, they got uh, so, uh, several statues. They got a sign of no soliciting. A sign. These are old statues, I believe, because that, that this looks older than. Actually, no, it doesn't. And that, but that angel with the sword is looks still looks in great condition. And that was when the Apaches were raiding. So the only, my only uh, internet access here is Walmart and, and McDonald's. I guess that's not too bad. It's my only bathrooms too. Wow, that's fence. Looks like the corner beggar just got there. He's trying to decide on what to write. I could shave and change my shirt and maybe they wouldn't recognize me. <laughs> at the library. You are not welcome to read here at the library. Are they looking for my car? They just roll in and start looking at a car next to me. Feeling it up, checking for a bumper like it got, like it's a, it was a part of an, uh, an accident. So I guess this car was involved in an accident or something? Alright, so uh, I'm going to take a look at the park, see if there's any bathrooms. It seems like walking by it, it didn't seem like there was anything. Some people are feeding seagulls. Hmm. They got a giant M on the top of that mountain, so I guess it's climbable. But I don't dare. I guess this is the outskirts. I'll go a little further down and then turn back in. I seem to scare a lot of birds. This road is awful. I feel like I'm about, or there's some moments where I almost lost control there. It's 
pretty cool. So I scare more birds with this bicycle and cause dogs to alert from further distances away. Uh -oh. It's all the same vegetation. This, uh, this bush, this bush has got a firm control of this uh, entire state. Okay, I guess this turns back into the city. <laughs> There's like people really screwing around down there. Three kids in the back. Oh, because there's a pond nearby. <clears throat> huh. Oh, I think they're trying to come up this route. Huh, weird. Well, this is where people dump a lot of trash around the pool. <laughs> There's a lot of couches, a lot of junk. Coming up on a road runner who doesn't want to cross this canal. Oh, he flies across. Actually, that's probably more of a... That's probably more of a glide. Alright, so this area has been abandoned because they removed the, the electrical meter. They didn't lock this door, so I just decided to come on in. I'm sure that's the electric meter. It's so weird. I just take a look around. It kind of looks like it's inhabited, but then again, it kind of does not. Like maybe it was recent. Yeah, this is all empty. There is some furniture. Yeah, there is some. really strange oh here their electric meter is okay it just changed sides I got it and now I'm trespassing you know that truth or consequences Walmart wasted a lot of money with all that overhead roofing for the parking lot they wasted way too much money rarely does a Walmart do that they never do the full parking lot at least Right, so this is the Hamill Museum, not far from the Walmart. They're almost visible. Walmart's almost visible. The trees are in the way. I don't think they're open right now. It's four in the afternoon, three in the afternoon on a Saturday. It says ice on the, the tinned part of the siding. And some windows are broken or open? Broken, definitely broken. It says closed. They don't even post hours for this museum, so who knows what's going on with it. They don't have a phone number for appointments. Yet they're calling themselves a historical society. They got an old building at least. Alright, San Miguel. Just want to take a look at this statue a little closer. It's kind of neat. Jeez, all right. This used to be something, something very old. There's a needle, a diabetic needle in there. Just a single. coriander and celery seeds to this water. This is spring water. Comes out of Fort Worth. I'm not too impressed with the taste. 
there's some spring waters that are not good. The, the Maricopa County spring water was especially alarming uh, how bad that tasted. This Fort Worth is mild. It's not great. I have tasted better spring waters before. It really depends on where you get it from and they always have to choose local to save on the money. I read I powderized some 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 uh, parsley to really make this a green drink. I don't think I added too much. Maybe I did. I can honestly say I'm more compelled to sip it. The water by itself was not sippable. It was not compelling to sip. This is actually sippable. I don't mind I don't mind drinking more of this. It's not like it's a sugar drink or anything. It just I don't know, that spring water just was not very was not very compelling. And I'm pretty much referring to uh, the things I've learned from herbs. I recently learned about coriander water. And you, you just soak coriander water. I mean, it, coriander is used, used for uh, sauerkraut and the fermenting of that. It's supposed to change the taste positively. It's not bad in water by itself. And then there's such thing as parsley tea. Use fresh parsley. I'm using dried. I just powderize it. And then celery seed. I don't know. I just experimented with that and I liked it. So combining the three is not too bad. I also tossed two of my ferrite magnets in here. I don't know. I, I like embrace it and then abandon the idea I just go back and forth it's just probably because it takes work I constantly have to put the magnet in and and then make sure I take it out it takes a little extra work I get lazy I ride two lemons and I'll just uh, maybe half of a less than a half of a tablespoon of ginger try I think pretty prompt pretty much for the first time okay If turmeric can go good with orange juice, then ginger might go good with lemon juice. Yep. <coughs> yep, that is a good combination. I don't even taste the burning from the ginger. It's like the lemon... The lemon is... is uh, overtaking that taste yeah maybe I need more ginger oh I'm tasting a little burning just a slight bit I may not have put enough ginger but that's a good combination <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't face the sun too well trying to record that. Scoop that poop. You can hear him way over here. police cars just passed in front of me and somebody's shooting fireworks off in that direction that they're headed I've never seen so many police cars well this small area um, pass by and I've been watching all day it's usually just one all right the Joe Fidel Center all right so I guess I'm gonna take off to Walmart and sleep overnight there I could probably get away with here again but I need to stock up a little bit on canned food 
All right, this is how they cover the liquor. Not here though. All right, I think I'm gonna alternate 